Okay, so this is my project again. I erased the North Asia thing, and I think it would take too much of my time to redraw that, all that stuff. And so, what my thing is basically today, um, I'm just gonna read off the facts of what I have. Okay, so I already got to the women and children, and so this is the physical geography part. Asia is one of the biggest continents in the world, covering over approximately 30% of the Earth's land area. That's huge. However, most geographics define Asia's western border as an indirect line that follows the Ural Mountains, the Caucasus, the Caucasus, Caucasus Mountains, and the Caspian and the Black Seas. Asia is bordered by the Arctic, Pacific, and the Indian Oceans. Asia's huge size is one of the reasons why the region's variety of the climates is some of the coldest and the hottest, wettest, and some of the driest places on Earth. These varied climates include the bitter cold of the polar north, the hot dry desert, and the environment of the center and southwest, and the hot human conditions of the tropical south, the temperature vary over from 100 degrees in Asia to below freezing parts. Basically, these climates can cause water scarcities all over Asia. Like, it'll be hot, like really, really hot, like, like say, let's say 100 degrees. This is 100 degrees, okay? And then, uh, let's say this is 100 degrees, and then 15 minutes later, it's down to like 60. Asia's crazy weather climates can do that stuff. And that's why water scarcities are so crazy, because like, you know how water will adapt to weather easily, like if it's too hot, it'll evaporate all the water, or if it's too cold, the water will be freeze. It's stuff like that that's making water scarce in Asia. So let's say there's a bunch of water and then it gets like really, really hot out. All right, so it gets like really, really hot out. And the sun's beating down on it. And then basically it's, uh, evaporate up and then it'll go back down but eventually it'll rain again but it doesn't rain as much as you think it would and even if it did rain it'd evaporate all back up you know so most of the places are scarce because of these crazy weather climates these weather climates can cause um, scarcities as I said before and Deaths and scarcities can lead to deaths, sicknesses, diarrhea, all kinds of stuff like that. And so that's why water's so scarce in Asia because maybe because the climate's crazy. It's just it's one day it's hot and the next day it's cold. And and Asia's uh, natural resources could be um, this is for the natural resources in Asia. It could be, they have all buttloads of coal. They have, uh, they have three fifths of the world's gold. Three fifths, that's like, that's more than half of the world's gold. Like, that, that's a lot of coal. Like, they can make a stinking living on that. They have three fifths of the world's gold. They, um, they, Fifths of the world's gold, yeah, I already said that three, three times. And the Central Eight, like what I drew before, like what, what I drew before this, the Central Asian parts have the most amount of water. Water security is one of the most difficult challenges. Most of the water's populace is Asia. Asia needs to produce 
sanitize water to the four parts of the continent but also the rapidly increasing cities because if it's rapidly increasing then the water's rapidly decreasing because there's so many people that need water because the human body contains 65 percent of water and how are we going to fill that up every day if we don't have enough water if we have scarcities everywhere and everybody else is taking the water away so this isn't really going to work out if all the water is getting taken away so if all this water is getting taken away then who's going to have the water like the government is one of the main main parts like the government is mostly taking away most of the water for their own needs such as money is the number one thing so if they're trying to make all this money for these people that have money i in my opinion i do think that water should be a human right because this is a natural resource people are trying to take it over like they own it you can't own water it's God made it, you know? I mean, that's how it is. I mean, you can't just take all this water away and say that you own it when you don't. You don't own it. It should be a natural human resource. It is, it's, a na it's, it's a natural resource. So why should, why should it give you the right to own it? But that's what it's like. I mean, people think that more money is more important than lives. And who are you going to sell it to if you have less lives to sell to? That's my question. Anyways, I don't understand why people will do this stuff. <laughs> but basically, people that... Okay, so these people don't get water. These people don't have water. It's that. And then these people kinda have water, but they have a bunch of scarce. Tired, but they're still alive, you know? They like walk around, they drink the water and stuff like that. And then And then these guys are like, they're trying to make money off of water because they have been that over their lives. Okay, and then these people are usually more rich. They're always getting water, like their water is at the edge of their cups. And they're all wearing nice stuff and suits. And then these people are not getting any water, they're barely getting any water. And these these top people are more worried about themselves and money and the world. They're more worried about but then these people want to say that they care when they don't. They just basically want money. And money is all that they ever, everybody's ever wanted. But people want to say that money is not that important, but whenever you're spending all this money on these projects like save and stuff and stuff like that, people are usually more scarce. And these scarce people, how do you think they're making money? Almost everything, maybe every everything in this room has water in it. Pretty much everything. This has water in it. The walls have water in it. Everything has water in it. Everything. And so in this place, there's water everywhere. Just, we don't know how to use it correctly. And these people will usually just get money off it, make money out of water. Water. And people, like a natural resource. Like, have you ever seen, uh, never mind that. Have you ever seen like a movie where these guys, the bad guys are trying to sell air it's, it was, it, I don't really remember the, oh, the Lorax, that movie, whenever the guy's trying to sell air, that's basically what they're doing with water, because 
trees are grown from water. Plants are grown from water. Almost everything in it, like what you drink every day has water in it. And that's why we need water. Water is such a precious resource. Only 1% of the earth is fresh water. So in that case, we need to use it wisely. The other 2% two, 2 is um, frozen in glaciers and ice and stuff. And 95%, no, 98% is salt water. So that's why fresh water is so, so precious. But people just don't know how to put it into the air. People want to put it into their everyday lives when people can only drink about three gallons a day. No, not three gallons a day, three gallons a week. But people don't want to, people don't want to put their mind in to the people that are dying for this. People will walk over three miles a day. That's 2.7 kilometers. And it takes about half their day. So they don't have time for education, school, and normal housework or washing their clothes. And they can't even do any of that. They can't wash their clothes. They can't wash their dishes. They can't, they can't wash themselves. They can't stay hydrated. But you'll, all, okay, so these people can walk three miles for water that's not even clean. But they have to drink it because without water, you'll die. You can die over three days of water. Three days without water, you'll, you're dead. But anyways, with these people that are dying just like dropping like flies, these people are dying for water. Water is the number, like the most, probably the most precious resource in this world. But people want to look forward to green, money, gold, all that stuff. But they don't want to look towards water. People think that water is so easy to get in this United States. It must be. But wait till we run out of water. What are we going to do then? What are we going to do whenever we run out of water? That's my question. What are we going to do with it whenever we run out of water? That That's, I mean, are we going to go to the countries that do have water and we're going to steal their water? I don't know. But that's another question. That's another story, man. But people... People in other countries, the they'll 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 see uh, a fence, fence, okay, and the government on the other side of that fence is the government. The other side of that fence is a poor village with no water. The government is running water right over that fence. These people see it. It's almost like they're taunting them. Like, come on, come and try me. Come and try to get the water. But people don't want to do that. Would you want to get, like, killed over getting water? Over walking three miles a day? A day. Every single day of your life. Can you imagine wake up, waking up every single day of your life to get water? No. I bet you couldn't. Because these people have to... These people are risking their lives for this water. And they don't even get clean water. They get some water with some particles in it with some poop and pee and stuff like that. Basically sewage water. They basically just drink sewage water. I don't think you could even imagine drinking sewage water. But these people, they use it in their everyday life. People don't understand what they do. They don't, they just don't understand how they're damaging people. And this is very, very important. So if next time you leave you think you leave the water running in the sink and you go to bed, turn that water off or take shorter showers. So you don't need to take a 20 minute shower. What are you gonna do there? Just sit and think. You need to actually use the right amount of water because then again, it's 1% of the water. That's very, very, very precious. And people are using water for the stupidest things, you know? And like I said, this room is covered with water everywhere. Every, everywhere, man. And, and just the most important thing in this world is probably water. Thank you.